Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video, I would like to present to you a Grasshopper definition that I've created that can assist in the creation of 2D photographic technical drawings and their overall dimensions. You can click on the link below this video to download this definition. By the way, if you would like to see more such videos, you might want to consider subscribing as this will provide me with the impetus to carry on creating more videos. Okay, let's start. Basically, the geometry input is used to connect to an existing grasshopper script or definition or a 3D model inside Rhino itself for the generation of their subsequent 2D technical drawings and overall dimensions. Okay, now I want to demonstrate how um, we can connect an existing definition to this node for the creation of the technical drawings. Okay, so I'm going to paste an existing demo definition. Okay, the main thing to take note is that the final form should ideally be merged as a single solid, which is represented over here as the solid union component. And you can see the result is actually one single closed B ref. Okay, so this single solid should be connected to the geometry input, which I'm going to do it now. And then from here, you can see that. The definition that I created consisted mainly of three sections the top view creation, front view creation, and the right view creation. And in each section, there is a make 2D component where there's a compute button which you need to click to generate the corresponding 2D view. So I can click the compute over here, and you can see that this has generated the top view and we can do so for the other views. I can click the front view, compute, and then the right view, make 2D compute. Okay. And you can see that yep we have created the 2D drawings. Let me toggle to the front view for a better display. Okay. And you can see over here they are like some other parameters that I've uh, created that will allow for the adjustments of the drawings. For example, you can use the um, view position to adjust the position of the views. For example, maybe this one I want to bring it down. Yeah, I can do so by adjusting this. And then over here, you also have things like the dimension position. Okay, so you can adjust the dimension position to reposition the dimension. So uh, these two settings are also available on the other views. For example, the front view and here I want to, let's say, bring this down. I can go to the front view position input to input a lower value. And you can see that I've done in such a way that by moving the front view, the corresponding position of the right view is also being aligned, okay? And in a similar fashion, if you want to adjust the right view position, you can click on this value over here. Okay, there's another parameter that I have inputted is that of the font size of the dimension. So let's say I want to change the size of the dimension text. I can do so by going to this dimension text size slider to modify the size of the dimension. Okay. Because um, this definition is parametric, if I were to make any updates to the form of the object, the technical drawing can also be updated. For example, let's say I want to change this. 
to maybe something like that okay once the form has been fixed we have to go back to this portion again and re-click the compute buttons so you can click on the compute uh, for three times to recompute the new updated view and their subsequent dimension okay as you can see over here okay as mentioned um the definition also allows for the parametric creation of existing rhino models and i want to do a demonstration with regards to that so let me disconnect this okay and i don't think i need this for the moment let me just quickly create an object over here using the rhinos command okay so let's create a truncated pyramid okay you can see over here i created a truncated pyramid and the main thing to be aware of is that the object that you have created should ideally be positioned at the center of the 3d scene namely at the 0 comma 0 comma 0 position okay this will allow for the technical drawings to be created um correctly okay so what i'm going to do is simply to associate this to the geometry input so i'm going to right mouse click over here set on geometry select this object and again just click on the compute three times Okay, to generate the subsequent 2D drawings. Okay, you can see over here, and you notice that there's some overlap here. And I can simply just click on the right view position to adjust and update the new view location. And if I want to make any modification to the Rhino model, I can also. Uh, recompute to get updated views okay so i'm going to do a demo now Let's say this one i have to 45 degrees and then maybe scale this like that and then if i were to click the compute again for the three views you'll notice that the drawings has been parametrically updated okay with that i come to the end of this demonstration and if you'd like to see more of such videos uh, you are welcome to subscribe to this channel see you bye